<laughs> oh no! My name is Andy Ogden. I'm currently the chair of the Graduate Industrial Design Program. I've been here as a faculty member since 1984 with a, a break in between, but I've been teaching for about 20 years. Typically, in a uh, design program, we design things to a point of a conceptual proposal, and we imagine what the working out, output would be, but we rarely make things that actually get to the prototype stage where you have to uh, integrate a series of systems and deal with all the complexities. We're done. <laughs> Formula E is something that was originally envisioned by a gentleman named Gaylord Eccles. He looked at the curriculum at Art Center and said, you know, um, we need to have people make something that actually has to work. The students would get a rubber band, and that's borrowed from a competition that's done by people who build model airplanes. They launch up into the sky with a rubber band and a little timer, and when the timer runs out, hopefully it's somewhere around when the rubber band runs out, then it, it changes the, the tail on the plane, and puts it into a kind of gliding mode, and they, they have a competition to see who can stay up in the air the longest. I try to play a role of what I call R&D. I try to experiment with some things that the students might not have thought of and then if I get some things working um, I try to share those with everybody so that becomes part of the, the design language. Some people have taken rubber bands and hung them off the bridge on the brake. Yeah. Okay. Right. And they, they claim that they get superior performance. And I'm trying to teach them to you know steal things that work and, and make them part of your own. The most successful designs are the ones that actually can get refined and then at the very end, there's an event with hundreds of people and um, you, you can get stage fright and blow it you know, there. So every year I assume that we're kind of plateaued. We, we're not going to see anything significant and no one's going to find anything that's really different. And somehow, pretty much every year, somebody pushes through that and they figure out something different. So now we're first place in the figure eight race and we're second in the hill climb right now by a hundredth of a second and we're third in the draft. So yeah, that was definitely a good learning experience. We believe in preparing people for a multidisciplinary professional world that they're gonna go into. I hope that they have the confidence to go into doing something they've never done before and uh, dealing with the adversities and kind of powering through those. My hope is that they become as close to fearless as possible to take on something that's that's new. If you don't know how that stuff works, you, you have a toolkit and a methodology that you can use and you can figure it out. All right. Hi, Lucas Brunel here. 